Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here back with another quick Dying Light 2 video. And in this one, I'm going to be walking you guys through an Easter egg, which will allow you to get a secret blueprint. Now, this secret blueprint is actually pretty insane. It's called the Left Hand of Globa, and it will actually allow you to shoot with your bare hands and set enemies on fire. The only downside to this weapon is that it does take quite a bit of materials to create it, so you will need to have over 300 scraps whenever you want to make it. The good thing about that is you can run around to all the different stores and just simply buy them from the vendors and then as soon as you're ready you can go ahead and craft the left finger of Globa. All you really need is the blueprint so I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can go ahead and grab that. So what you want to do is head over to this safe house that I'm out here. Right next to it you're going to see a question mark and that's actually going to be where we're going to be landing but first you have to ride the elevator up to the top of this building so you can actually make it over there. So you want to come over to the VNC tower. This is the spawn location right next to where I just marked on the map. All you have to do is go into the building, you'll see a zip line to get inside. Get into the building and you're going to notice that there's a button to call an elevator. Now this elevator can take quite a while to actually make it down here. It's like a one minute ride both ways. So if it's not already here, just click that button and wait. You just got to be patient because it does take quite a while to get there. So one more time, here's where we are on the map. Just make your way into this tower and then you will find a elevator shaft. All you have to do is simply ride it up to the roof. Now, it, like I said, it did take like a minute or so for the elevator to get here, so just be patient and then click the button and ride it on back up to the top. It will take a while, so there's going to be times you might not even think that you're moving, but just be patient and you will eventually end up on the roof. So once you get onto the roof, this is what it should look like, but this is actually not the roof that you want to be on. Instead, what you want to do is use your paraglider to actually glide over to a roof next door. Once you're here, there's a bunch of things you can actually collect here. There's even a military supply drop that you'll be able to collect. And once you're here, there's a small little puzzle to start doing, and it's going to lead you to an Easter egg. And at the end of this Easter egg, it will reward you with the blueprint. So all you have to do is simply start opening up your paraglider, jump in this direction, and then you want to glide over to this building here. It has some radio tower antennas on top. Once you get here, you're also going to notice that there is a military drop here, so you probably want to grab that as well. I've already collected the military drop though, so I wasn't going to go and try and get it twice, but that's exactly where it's going to be. So if you haven't done that yet, be sure to open that up. Now, while you're here though, what you really want to do is actually grab this cable. This cable is going to allow you to start the Easter egg and unlock the blueprint. So you need to jump down, make sure that you have your grappling hook equipped, grab onto this thing here on the corner, and you want to jump into this little room here instead, start making your way down. So you want to take that cable and simply just put it into this panel over here. After that, this should turn green, and that'll show you that this part of the building has power now. So we just brought the wire down here to this section, and that's all you really have to do for that. If you turn around, you're gonna see another panel over here. It may take a few seconds or so for the power to get over there, so if it says that there's no power for whatever reason, just wait a few seconds, and then, and for whatever reason it still isn't fixed, you're gonna probably have to restart your game, because I know I was running into that glitch as well, that once I got to this panel, sometimes it was saying there was no power in it, but so long as it says there's power, just go ahead and grab it. Zip line back down a little bit further. You're going to go into this pretty much the same room, but just a little bit lower. And you want to plug this wire in here. After plugging in this wire, there's actually a third wire. It's pretty much just rinse and repeat. There's going to be another one that you actually have to go and bring to another location, but that should be the last one. So run across the room here to the other end, and you should see the panel to open up the third wire. Head to your left and you're going to jump down this little ramp here and it's going to make you need to grapple onto this corner so you don't die from fall damage, but you're going to slowly make your way down. So just simply grab onto this, drop down, and then you can run and do pretty much the same thing over here. You're just going to drop down without trying to take fall damage so you don't die. And then just go ahead and drop down one last time and you should be able to plug it in the cable here. So once you plug in this cable, the whole building should have power and all you have to do is go over to this red panel that you're going to find next to this cable. This red panel will start the Easter egg, so you'll be able to go into this room with your GRE key. So all you have to do is go into this secret room, open up these doors here, and this is where you're actually going to basically get everything. Watch out for this zombie though, because he could kill you if you're a little low on health from all of the fall damage that you could have taken. But there's some collectibles in this room. Make sure to grab this postcard and, you know, ins inspect the things that you can. But from there, what you want to do is actually go into the back room. If you go into the back room, there's a place to rest by a campfire on a bed. And this is where you're actually going to begin to get the blueprint. So 
All you have to do is go back to that bed, sit on the bed for a little while, and it will start the Easter egg. The Easter egg will take about a minute or so, and what you want to be on the lookout for is actually a small book that will pop up. So there's going to be a bunch of different teddy bears and stuff like that that pop up. Just keep letting everything pop up, and then eventually you will see the pamphlet. So I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So this is like the living room area. You just want to inspect that. You can sit there down if you need to, but if you come into the back here, you're going to notice that there's actually a bed here, and this is where you want to try to sit down. Once you sit here for a little while, the teddy bears will start to pop up. Just simply wait until eventually a pamphlet pops up right underneath that Techland sign, that white sign in the background, and that's when you'll know everything's done. So I'll just let it play out so you guys can see it. So after all the bears have popped up, you're going to see one final burst of lightning on the tech land sign and then you should see a pamphlet pop up. If you pick up that pamphlet, it will actually give you the blueprint for the left hand Glova. Now from here, you'll be free to make as many of these as you want. Just pull up in your inventory and start uh, crafting them. But the thing is, is that they are extremely expensive. They cost about 360 scrap. So you will have to go around to different vendors to get scrap or just simply loot a bunch of zombies if you don't already have some. Now that's pretty much it for this one, guys. That's how you're going to get your hands on the left finger of Globa. Now there's also another secret item that you can get, which is these Super Mario boots. These are going to allow you to actually triple jump and go into this sort of like front flip animation, which is pretty sick. If you want to see how to get those unlocked, I'll actually leave a link to those in the video so that you can click right over and see how to unlock that secret item as well. Hopefully, eventually, you'll be able to upgrade those hand of Glova so it'll do even more damage or maybe you can even get a right hand one and then actually combine them together which would be pretty insane now if you guys are new to the channel be sure to drop a like down below if this helped you and subscribe if you guys are new and i will catch you guys in the next video peace